So I did that and the writing, I, no, no. Excuse you. <laughs> Who is she? It's finally October. I have meant to start this reading vlog a little bit sooner, but we have a hurricane. So we're getting through that. Thankfully, everything is okay in my place and we're all fine here. It was just stressful, but that is why we have books. I'm juggling a lot of books at the current moment, so I'll go through them. I'll try to read them during the week and just sort of give you an update on those. So something I did start earlier this week was the Cinnamon Bun Bookstore, which is the sequel to the Dream Harbor series. The first one in that was Pumpkin Spice Cafe, which I listened to as an audiobook with my sister when we went up to Maine earlier this summer and we're both reading the physical book for Cinnamon Bun Bookstore right now and that one is following the best friend of the main girl from the first book so that's been very fun it's cute <laughs> and i'm actually really enjoying the series because i didn't think i would be invested in a little romance series that's very gilmore girls-esque but here i am so yeah, horror girl who's starting to pick up on romance stuff. Who is she? Who am I right now? <laughs> and then I'm also listening to the audiobook for The Gunkle Abroad, which is the sequel to The Gunkle, which I listened to earlier in June. So I'm probably halfway through that. I don't know if I'm as much of a fan of the sequel for The Gunkle. It's been a little hard to kind of stay invested in it. It's just kind of become background noise. I'm worried that I might end up DNFing it, but I'll power through, I'll stay strong. There have been parts that have been really good. So I'm very hoping to see some turnaround there. And then one you just saw me reading was the first book of the Houses of Lorient Hollow series. I just started that this afternoon, which you just saw the clips for. And this has been really interesting so far. So I know I did read the premise of this in the spooky TBR video I just did, but the more that I'm actually reading into this, it's almost kind of a mix of the Mortal Instruments series and the movie Jeepers Creepers. That's literally, that's how I can describe it. So it's, very neat so far and what's been really helpful is that the print is really large so I've been able to fly by it quickly. I'm almost at the 100 page mark and I'm probably I'm only like 20% into the story. So it's very good so far and I'm very excited to keep going with this. Well I'm going to pause the reading for right now because I am about to go and see a production, a shadow cast of Rocky Horror Picture Show down in Bonita Springs. So a little context for y'all. My family owns a murder mystery dinner train where I live in Florida. And one of the actors on the train is performing in this production of Rocky Horror. So I am gonna go and see the show and support her. I'm actually very excited because I, I think I've only have seen Rocky Horror like twice in my life. I'm very excited to go and see this because I think this is my first like Rocky Horror production that I haven't seen outside the movies ever. So this is going to be 
a new experience for me. I'm super excited. I'm still trying to figure out my outfit, hence the reason why I need to get ready. So hopefully you can get ready with me. Otherwise, I'll show you the final results. So I'll check back in with you in a little bit and woo, spooky season. Yeah. <laughs> Well, hello. It is now Tuesday night. Um, I was supposed to film when I got back from Rocky Horror on Saturday or Sunday. I was supposed to talk about Rocky when I got back, but I never did. I really just needed a reset day for Sunday because I just had no energy whatsoever but Rocky Horror was a lot of fun. It was a great time and it was just a really neat take on it. And I just had a lot of fun. I was there with my friends. We got the fro rice and all, a whole bunch of other stuff at the show. It was very great. So if you ever get a chance to go and do a shadow cast for Rocky Horror, I would highly recommend it. So I did that and I swear, every time I do one of these reading vlogs, I have the cat here, and she is like the weirdest little guest star I have, and it's great! <laughs> so, Sunday I wanted to film, and yesterday I wanted to film, but like I said, I just, I just needed the reset day because I had no energy, and I just needed some time to decompress a little bit, but I was able to finish the gunkle abroad on audiobook. So I don't know if I necessarily enjoyed it as much as the first book, but I do think the end redeem itself a lot. But it was just the middle part was lagging for me when they finally got to Italy and the wedding. So I ended up giving that one three out of five stars, like a solid three. So I'm very happy I got that one done. And now I'm still working through Houses of Loring Hollow. And I also did start Old Bones by, I don't even know if you can see that. I started Old Bones by Preston and Childs on Libby. So I'm about 72 pages into that. And this is a archeological themed mystery that's connected with the Donna party, which <laughs> is very neat because I am trying to read more into the Donna party and their whole situation. So this is the second book that I've reading this year that's based around the Donna party. So this book, Old Bones, it's a little stiff so far, but I'm still willing to give it a chance. My mom found out about this book first and she recommended it to me. So I am very much looking forward to seeing where this goes. So I'll keep reading for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow and Thursday, I'm going to be working from home since I have to go act on the train for the next two nights. So I'll catch up with y'all in the morning and I'll kind of detail more of like my day working from home when I had to perform on the train, so that'll be fun! Woo! Ma'am? <laughs> Hi. Good morning. It's now Saturday. I meant to film this week. I haven't. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I have my work stuff this week. 
on the train. It was fun. I had a great time. I'm just exhausted. So it was a good time. Got my work done. Got my acting done. And reading didn't really happen much. No real updates for you there, but I need to wake up. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, let me get some coffee in my system and let me get a little bit of reading and then we'll check back in later. Good morning! I'm much more awake now, so I'm getting ready to head out for the day because my sister and I are gonna go see We Live in Time in theaters. So we're gonna go do that. We're gonna go ball our eyes out, but I figured I'd give you an update before I left. So I did catch up on more of Old Bones this morning. So it is getting somewhere. It's just still not necessarily 100% my favorite book at the moment. So I'm gonna figure out if I need to DNF it or just power through it. And then Laura and Hollow, I'll just pause for the time being. But this morning I did discover that this book that I've been eyeballing for a little bit, Cackle by Rachel Harrison, is available as an audiobook on Spotify. So I... I'm gonna start that today. I'm very excited. I think it's being narrated by Dylan Moore, who's an audiobook narrator that I've listened to a couple times, and she does a fantastic job. So I'm very excited to get that started. So I need to finish getting ready so that way I can go meet my sister at the theater. So we're gonna keep plugging away, and I'll catch up with you in a little bit. Good morning everyone, we're now on Sunday. So the movie yesterday was really good. I enjoyed it, it made me giggle, it made my sister cry. So it balanced out the skill perfectly. So I would highly recommend going to see We Live in Time if you do get a chance to go see it in theaters. So got that done yesterday. And then I also had a wedding celebration that I went to for one of my older friends in Panhellenic. So she had recently gotten married and she was hold a, hosting a celebration for her friends and family to come at her community. So that was really nice. I got to do that for a couple hours and then I was starting to get really tired. So I got home at like around nine and I took a bath, watched some YouTube and then fell asleep. And then this morning I've been reading Lori and Hollow like no one's business. I'm close to the 50% mark right now, so it is picking up a little bit more. I know I originally said this, this is kind of like Shadowhunter set in Florida, but the more that I've been reading into it, it's kind of more of... If Alex Stern from the Ninth House series was the lead character in the Mortal Instruments series and that whole series was set in a unknown town in Florida. That's this book. <laughs> so yeah, it has been a very quick read. And again, like I said, the font is gigantic. So it's been helping to fly by really quickly and the spacing has helped out too. So even though I'm like 300 pages and it doesn't feel like 300 pages, it probably feels more like 100 to 120. So this has been fly by fast. I don't know if I'm necessarily a fan 100% of the book so far, but I'm so willing to pound it out and keep going with it because the lore behind a lot of what's happening in this book so far has been very interesting and I'm, I'm keen to learn more about the history of what's going on. So yeah, we've got that going on for me and then like I said, I started Cackle by Rachel Harrison yesterday, and I'm about 20% into the audiobook right now. Again, not really sure if I love the story so far, but I'm still very excited to see where it's going. So I'm going to take a break from reading for a little bit. I'm going to start getting this video edited. I'm going to do it outside because I have not worked outside in so long, and I just want to get some fresh air in while I'm being productive. So I'm going to do that for a little bit, and then... I'll keep reading, so we got that going on for me today. Welcome back. We're on a new week, but it's Tuesday because I totally forgot to film yesterday. 
but we're still reading, we're still plugging along. So I am actually about to go head off to meet with a friend for some pumpkin carving because we're nearing the end of October and I really want to do pumpkin carving. So we're gonna do that, we're gonna watch a movie, and then I've got dinner train acting tomorrow night, Thursday and Friday. But as far as reading updates, Lauren Hollow's still good, Cackle's still good, and then Cinnamon Bone Bookstore, still rocking. Old Bones, however, I'm gonna have the DNF. Here's the thing, I'm very interested in the history and the lore behind the Donner Party. I am very curious to learn more about archaeological stories and having more archaeological components in mystery books. I think it's a very neat concept and I can see where the character buildup is going to be happening, but the writing... Yeah, the writing I... no. No. So yeah, I'm going to just make an executive decision to stop reading it because I only have like four days left on Libby and I do not want to push myself to continue on with it and be miserable so I would probably rather just give it another chance later on but today is not one of those days so I'm gonna DNF this book and then I'm gonna pack up and get ready to go because I am running behind as always so see you on the flippity flop. Hello, we're on Wednesday night. I just got back from the train. As you can see the makeup is gone and we are back to human self. <laughs> Not human self but yeah you know what I mean. I'm out of character mode now so I can finally relax but I'm gonna go read in bed, so I'm probably gonna keep going with Lorian Hollow, because I was reading that on the train tonight. And then I listened to more of Cackle during the day too, so I'm gonna go read in bed and then I will follow up in the morning. Sleep well. Welcome to our final Saturday together. So I pretty much spent the remainder of the week just continuing to work from home, continuing to listen to my audiobook, read my physical book, act on the train, and just run errands and do what I needed to do. But then last night on the train, I did finish Lorian Hollow, the soundtrack of your scream. Excuse you. <laughs> This book was a brick, as you can see, it is 652 pages and I tackled it in the span of the time that we were together. So I'm very proud of myself. This really got a lot better and I'm very happy it did because I was so worried I was gonna be in a slump, but I powered through it. I ended up giving this book 4.25 out of five stars. So again, a little bit worried, but I really ended up enjoying this and I can't wait to read the rest of the series. So that's done. And then other than that, I think I've got like maybe three hours left to cackle, but I think I should be able to hopefully finish it by this week and if not early next week. So yeah, that's my reading. That's the video, I think we're gonna cap it off here because otherwise I'm gonna yap on forever. Essentially, in this reading vlog, we were able to finish two books and we're almost done with an audiobook and I DNF'd one, so I'd say that's pretty gosh darn good. Thank you for watching this video and hope you're doing all right and hope you find some good spooky books to read and I will catch you somewhere else on the internet. So, thank you. Bye!